at least the timing with yourself that you are at your best. When you want to do important things, you are at your best. This must happen. Once you understand this, then you will realize it's extremely important to keep yourself at your best every moment of your life. Sadhguru, I see myself uh, relentlessly pursuing goals with a kind of a go-getter's attitude at times. And in other times, I am deliberately very patient and I wait for things to unfold in their own unique and beautiful way. Uh, I've had the pleasure of… What is it? You're talking about your love affair or your profession? <laughs> And uh, I've had the pleasure of having wonderful experiences in both worlds. <laughs> so, what I would like to ask you is, according to you, what is a better approach to things? But where did you find this out-of-the-world girl, huh? <laughs> Both worlds, he's saying <laughs> We would like to see the girl if she's here. Well, uh, see, in terms of uh, doing anything in the world, well, we should know what we are doing, the capability, intelligence, all these things are there. But one important aspect that especially when you're young, you try to miss is the timing. If you don't time your actions right, even the best actions will go waste. Timing it. Is there… Uh, so people who don't know how to time it, they will look, look at the astrological chart and say, this is good time, bad time, auspicious time, inauspicious time. Uh, because it's nine o'clock, your girl was coming, it's Rahu Kala, you don't look at her. <laughs> hey, it's bombed, <laughs> your love affair is over <laughs> So those who don't know how to time their life, they will start looking for standard charts, what is good time, what is bad time. There's no such thing. Timing is most important. This is something I'm constantly striving with people around me to understand the significance of timing. They all think the significance of the action they understand, but they don't understand most of the time the significance of timing. If the timing is right, even a small action will produce a huge impact. The timing is wrong, even if you push so hard, only little will happen. So timing is very, very important. How do you arrive at this? This is a complex affair because you, first of all, let's only handle one aspect because if you go into the other, you will fall into the astrological charts. One aspect is, see you as a human being, let's say you take twenty-four hour time or if you want to take a longer time, let's say a week or a month if we take, in one month, Twenty-four hours every day, one month long, thirty days. Are you in the same state of physical and mental competence? No. It's all the time going here and there. So when you want to hit an important shot, you must be at your best. So this timing you take care of it. Outside timing is there, that'll take a lot of experience and wisdom to time with the world. But at least with you, you time it. When you are at your best, you do important things. When you're not so good, you don't do it. Just uh, three days ago, somebody in Bangalore was telling someone else here about his experience of driving with me. Many years ago, almost eight years ago, he still remembers because it so terrified him. Because my right leg is heavy <laughs> So he said, the way he was driving that day, I said, Sadhguru, don't drive like this. He said, uh, it seems I said, I don't remember, maybe I said. I… It's, uh, because I look at it like that, I should have said. Uh, <laughs> on a particular day when I'm on, I know today I can do anything and I will do it right, anything. Another day, I'm little not there, 
Then I know today I'm… I step back and I go a little more cautiously like everybody else, otherwise I go boom. So I'm driving that day like that <laughs> and he's terrified. I said, don't worry, today nothing will happen because I'm in this condition. This day nothing will go wrong for me, I'm on today. So this timing at least, there is also timing with the rest of the world, the situations. That will take much more experience and observation to hit the right thing at the right time. But at least the timing with yourself that you are at your best, when you want to do important things, you are at your best, this must happen. Once you understand this, then you will realize it's extremely important to keep yourself at your best every moment of your life. Because every little thing that you do, if you learn to do it with as much significance as the so-called big things that you do, then you will see the cumulative impact of that over a period of time is so big. You didn't do anything big, you did only little, little things. But these little things add up to something phenomenal simply because you took care to do those little things with absolute intention and attention, intensity of uh, expression of what you're doing. So one fundamental thing, before you realize and read all these things properly within yourself and around yourself, one simple thing is just this, you don't decide what is important, what is not important. Just pay as much attention to everything the same way and apply yourself with the same level of intensity. If God comes, same intensity. If an ant comes, same intensity of attention and involvement. You just do this, everything will sort itself out. The right now, the biggest problem with human beings is they think this is important, that's not important, this person is great, this person is no good, this is okay, this is not okay, this is God, this is devil. This is their problem. In this, they're becoming half a life because half the time they're not there because they think it's not important. Tell me you're breathing right now, is it important? Yes. So you must do it with total involvement and intensity. Then we'll say, we'll call you a yogi. You understand? You… you… at least the beard is coming. You better learn to breathe properly <laughs> No, no, the beard doesn't just grow on a yogi, it grows on every man. <laughs> Why they have removed it, you must ask <laughs> Nobody knows. So, if it is not important, you must stop it, isn't it? Just do this one thing. There is no such thing as important and not important. Whether you look at your friend or you look at somebody you don't like, you… you look doing something important or important in socially or not so important socially, as far as you are concerned as a life, every moment of your life is equally important. Everything that you do is important. What is not important, just don't do it. Why are you investing in your life? Why are you investing your life in something that you think is not important? You're doing something silly, let's say, I think it's not important, it doesn't matter. But you think it's important, only if you think it's important, you must invest your life in it, isn't it? Otherwise, why? If you do this, you will arrive at the timing, it will take a little time, but you will arrive at the timing and that timing is extremely important, extremely. You have… Uh, you watched uh, games, let's say maybe cricket or golf if you watched, Always everybody is talking about the timing of hitting the ball. Strength of hitting the ball is not the thing, it's the timing. Somebody hits the same ball with great amount of, you know, wasting energy, another person just flicks it, it goes to the same place. It's a timing. That is true even in your life. Timing is the most important thing because the time that you have in this life and the energy that you have in your life is limited. It's a limited resource. Nobody has endless energy, isn't it? Nobody has endless time. So, you have to time it right. First thing is to talk, start observing yourself. When you're at your best, you must do. And now, if you observe yourself sufficiently, you will see you have to be at your best every moment. There's no such thing as this is important.